Ebony. Ebony, is that you? Yeah, that's me. Can you hear me? Okay, I can hear you. Yes, Ebony. Yeah, I'm kind of sick, so sorry. Let me um but Wiley, I'm I'm just here to talk about why is Armand lying on me? I, I don't I, have no pictures of Armand. I live in San Diego. I'm nowhere close to LA. He said that you hired a private investigator. Why would I hire a private investigator? So Armand needs to worry about all those videos I have of him on station head doxing me with Eva and all those other people. Really? I have, do you know how many recordings I have of him putting out my, my baby daddy's full name, talking about my kids, talking, the reason I haven't came for him is because I have a bigger fish to fry. Do you think that I, Cardi B is telling him to do that? Because I'm like, where's y'all disconnect? Because he, he, I don't, yeah. I don't know how he would think I would hire. What would I need a, a private investigator for? Why, why would I need a private investigator? So, so, you know. He hasn't done anything to me to make me want to investigate him. You said that way. your husband. When was this? Like he talked about, he posted like your family. That must so he was on his station head. Okay. He gave out my abuser's full name. He wow. made fun of the fact that my ex is Puerto Rican. He said, oh, his name is he has. He was making fun of the fact that my kids were biracial. Wow. Okay. On top of that, he also had somebody dox my family and send messages to my stepsister who I don't have a good relationship with. So then he had someone come on his show and go, that's why you and your stepsister don't have a good relationship. And talk about my family business. It, it, there's recording. I have like over 12 or 15 videos. He used my pictures as his profile pictures. So, really? like, I, I'm not understanding. Well, because I didn't know he did all that. Because, you know, again, he, we don't follow each other. So that's crazy. That's obsessive. Cardi like, doxed me. Uh -huh. This is the thing. 20, you guys know what I look like. So the fake outrage isn't because I use all types of profile pictures. It's not because of that. It's because of the fact that my coverage over Tory Lanez, people didn't like it. People don't like my stance. And what On was your stance? That, what was your stance about? My stance okay. was I felt like. Did Ebony? Can you hear me? You there, Ebony? We have Ebony for Black T Ball. Okay. Then, you know, then people are are understanding. But that's a whole nother situation. But the thing is, is I'm not out here um, making videos on Armand, dragging him. Um, he's been on Station Head about me over and over again. Over and over again. Have you ever tried to reach out to him and say, hey, you know, let's have a conversation? No, I haven't tried to reach out to him because when I did talk to him, this is what he said. Armand said, sis, I don't even know you. I said, exactly. So why are you dragging me for? And why do you have so much animosity? So I, I want to go back to the Tory Lanez piece because people couldn't hear you because it was silent. So what was your stance on Tory Lanez before we get to the Armand piece? Let's get to that so they can hear what they said. They said anything. Um, I just feel like we're missing information. Okay. I feel like Kelsey is more involved than she is saying. That's how I feel. And I feel that Tory Lane's trial was a mess. And there was a lot of questions at the end of the trial that still left me like not fully sure if we really got to the truth. So that's my stance. I was talking to, you know. But at the end of the day, Megan was hurt. There okay. should be no question about she was hurt. You can't say she wasn't popped. You can't say she didn't get surgery. All that stuff should be factual now. But I just don't know, like, what... I feel like we're missing information. I want to ask, ask you this, because Armand interviewed Millie, and you did a tweet, you said, about entitlement. That mm -hmm. Nikki doesn't owe you anything about entitlement. You at, you actually at uh, Milagro Grams, and you mm -hmm. were talking about the whole situation about entitlement what would you, was that a response to armand wiggins because she brought it up and said hey 
Nikki is not, in, you're not, in, she's not, in, we're not entitled to her to get things from her. Like, was that a response to Armand Wiggins interviewing Milagro Grams? No. So I quoted what Milagro said. I literally quoted exactly what she said. Milagro said, entitlement is dangerous. I quoted what she said because she's right. In my opinion, it wasn't a response to Armand. I, people asked me in my live stream what I thought about his interview. I said his interview was good. I even suggested he would be good at maybe having people who may have fallen outs on YouTube come on his show to have conversations. It was never to directly jab at Armand. Not everything I do is regarding Armand. In my opinion, my blog, I'm not entitled. Nikki doesn't owe me anything on my blog. My blog. Whatever you think about your blog is your business. But it wasn't a direct jab at him. <laughs> okay. That's the problem. He mm -hmm. thinks everybody's coming for him. Everybody has to be... I, like, this whole picture thing is really bizarre to me. Like, that I would even waste money on a private investigator for Armand Wiggins. <laughs> he said he was going to sue you. <laughs> <laughs> I hope he's ready. He better ask his friend who my lawyer is. My lawyer is very good. So, and you saw the paperwork, didn't you? Absolutely. I did, I did see the paperwork. You saw the paperwork. Absolutely. Correct. So he can, you can't sue me when you've been slandering me all over Station Head. I have people sending me messages of the things you say about me and my family behind the scenes. Wow. And DMs that you think nobody's sending. I did not hire no private investigator. Prove it, Armand. If you prove it, I'll give you ten thousand dollars. If and you prove he, it, he also said he said, "quote I know her private part stink. Do it stink? <laughs> My private part don't stink. <laughs> the 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 fact that you're even talking about my private parts and and I don't even fuck you. The fuck is wrong with you?" Focus on your content. If he was more focused on his content, he wouldn't be in all this drama where people are actually recording him and taking pictures of him. You pissed somebody else off. It's not Ebony. Somebody else is, is stalking you. <laughs> but that's what happened when you burn bridges. You just came for Jason Lee. You just came for somebody else. These people have way more access and money than I do. Last time I heard, Jason Lee had hired a private investigator for somebody else. Mm -hmm. So, so you, so you're saying that it was Jason? I'm not saying it was Jason. I'm saying that he's had problems with a lot of people. So for him to come down and, and make it seem like I'm so obsessed with him that I would hire a private investigator, it makes no sense. It makes no sense. And I, I, I hear all of this and I, like I said, when he went live, I was, you know, cause of course, you know, the subscribers, they send you everything. Right. 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 And right. so, so when I went, so when I went over there, he was just dragging you. He said, I know her, Yoni stinks. Uh, I can get a private investigator and take a pictures of her nasty family. He was saying all of that, you know, on his station here. And I'm like, do he, do you think that he have these conversations with Cardi B about you? Because I, I want to know where did that energy come from? Because I didn't really see that energy with you, with him, until he started teaming up with Cardi. Because at one point, you were a fan of his show. You called him to his show. And you was even critical of Nikki in that, during that time. So I didn't know, like, where the disconnect happened. I think it kind of happened when Cardi B teamed up or when he Cardi B came in his life. And um, that's when he started to come against you. Here's the thing. I Everything that these people do in the name of someone else, they have to be very careful that those things aren't used against their favorite person. That's where you mess up. Nobody understands what it's like to be doxxed by a millionaire. Somebody to be doxxed by a millionaire. Having people that you don't even know. I'm out at the store. Oh, you was the one fighting with Cardi B. Huh? Like, like, nobody knows about that. If he is doing this for her, well, he's making a huge mistake. A huge mistake. Because, again, when I see the thing about Cardi B and yourself, 
how I learned about you, Black T-Ball, I'm going to be honest. I was at home. I was eating some fried chicken. And I just was on Cardi B Twitter, and she was dragging you. Posted all your information, saying that you beat up your husband, that you was abusing mm-hmm. your kids. And, like, she said you had a criminal record. She posted all of this. And I yeah. remember her millions of followers. And I think she was mad. Correct me if I'm wrong. She was mad over some commentary you did on your YouTube channel. Yeah, she said she felt that I was um, that my that my videos weren't opinion based, but they were opinion. All my videos are opinion based. Then, then out of nowhere, I, I I thought you made a good point. I did think to myself, and I spoke to my lawyer about this that. Armand was coming at me for her because I didn't come for Armand first. The thing is, is just because I don't say these things out out online doesn't mean I don't have an entire Google Drive of everything since the day it started. Since the very day it started, I responded to Armand. And then when he told me, "I, I don't know you, sis, and everything was fine, he blocked me. He blocked me. So how do you block me and then continue to talk mess about me? I'm still blocked. So he blocked you on Twitter, YouTube? I, yes, oh, okay. I'm blocked. When you, If I went to his Twitter, it says you're blocked. Wow. Yeah, wow. wow. So if, if, you, if you block me, you still talking about me. That tells me one or two things. You obviously like talking about me. Nothing that Armand says is going to do anything in my life. I'm still going to make my videos. I'm still going to post content, regardless. But stop the lying. And like I said, prove it. You say I hired a private investigator, right? I'll give him $10,000. Because if anybody knows anything about a private investigator, they're not going to tell you who hired them. Second of all, what would I need to investigate you for? That's the big question. Why would I take pictures of you? For what? He also said that you have a lot of subscribers and a lot of views, but you don't have influence like him. How did that make you feel? Because I always, I said, let me ask Ebony about that because you don't show yourself on camera. You do voiceovers. You have a lot of views. You haven't been doing it that long, but your channel popped and took off. How did that make you feel when you have somebody like Armand saying you don't have the influence like me because you don't show yourself on camera? I don't want the influence. I do my blog as a hobby. I'm not doing this to be famous. I'm not doing this to get a job on TV. That's the difference. I don't give a shit about about influence. Like, they keep throwing that into some of our faces, us blogs that, like, are heavily supportive of Nicki Minaj or, or something else. Like, you don't have influence. I don't care. I didn't do this to be famous. I started my blog so that I have more time at home with my kids. Because as a social worker, I had no time. I would have to leave my house at like three in the morning to go write a report for a child. You know, so it was it was draining. I was tired and I was hella miserable. So when he says stuff like that, I don't know if he's trying to prove it to me or prove it to himself. Because did you ever diss him that you had more subscribers? I remember when I was on your live, you said, don't mention Armand with his name because I got more subscribers than him. His subscribers? No, I never dissed his subscribers. But I did say, look at the view count. I sure did. He told me, he posted on my Twitter that nobody watches my videos. I was like, well, that's not true. I mean, Mm. look at at my views and look at yours. This, This was months ago. It's like, Armand like restarts this every so often. Like it'll be quiet and then he'll just start up some more mess. Like it's weird. I, I want to say because I, do you think that all of this is because you are successful and because the Cardi B? Because I think that you received a lot of hate once Cardi came out and dragged you and that have to be very disturbing on your mental health and everything because she put all your information and she put the information it was false information about you but she put it out there and to the average person they still believe that you are a criminal yeah exactly they still believe that i have a criminal record 
But see, this is the thing. I can't say much. You know why. Mm-hmm. I have fish to fry. That's why I'm not out here coming for some of these um, other people because right now I have my reputation with this situation to deal with. You put out a lie in front of 20 million people. And see, for a long time, people said, oh, you're never going to um, sue her or you're never going to. Then when it comes out that me and her were actually in a legal agreement, not everybody wants to act like it, it like, oh, why would you do that? You should be you shouldn't be coming for Cardi. You talk about celebrities. There's a difference. I'm not above approach. If people are going to drag me knowing that I talk about celebrities, that's fine. I can't tell people not to drag me knowing that I talk about other people. Just don't lie on me. I don't have no felonies, never had no felonies, and I don't have anything regarding children on my record at all. At all. I have nothing on my record. And when I see this situation, because I was talking to someone about you, and I said, Ebony is very opinionated. And I, I said that she talked a lot about Nikki. But I don't see a problem with that at all that you talk about Nikki. Nikki is a trending topic. She's one of the greatest international superstars. But once Cardi came out and said what she said, that had to be a major backlash from you because she, a lot of the, it, they started coming at you. And then I saw something with Nikki. I don't know if you want to respond to this or not. I remember she had unfollowed you. And I said, I know Ebony is hurt by that because something that you did and Nikki unfollowed you, but she did follow you back. But how did that make you feel going through that experience? Because that was public in the Cardi B stands. They were dragging you because she unfollowed you and all of that. Is she on there? I want to bring that question up. Uh, give me, I'm going to drop the link uh, about that. Give me a second. Because I always want to ask her about that piece. I, I don't know if she want to respond to that or not. I don't know if she want to talk about that uh, uh, or not. Um, give me a second. I think that's her. Uh, Ebony, is that you? Eb okay. Ebony? All right, hold on. Let me, let, okay, you there, Ebony? Yeah, can you hear me? I can hear you now, okay. Yeah, you're, um, you cut out. What were you saying? Oh, no, I was talking about when Nikki unfollowed you. I remember the time when Nikki unfollowed you and you was getting dragged and in our mind is celebrated. Look, you did all, you talked all that mess and she unfollowed you. She, she never came on your show. How did that make you feel going through that experience? Because something happened. It was a, a I don't know. I think you said it was a misunderstanding about what happened during that time. Cause I remember our mind just, he went on his stage here and he celebrated when she unfollowed you. Because it, it, it actually, you know, what's funny. The same thing that happened with our mind sort of happened with me because I had made a comment about Nikki's um, husband that she didn't like. It was the same thing that happened to Armand and she unfollowed me. But it wasn't anything like, I wasn't doing no tarot cards or anything. I was just making a reference that Nikki does stand up for her husband. Um, I forgot what was going on during that time and she didn't like my comment. I didn't even know she unfollowed me. Armand had to tell me. And okay. then that's when I found out that Armand had created a burner account. Wow. He, expo he exposed himself on his own live stream. He created a burner account to follow me and Nicki Minaj. He really? Only, yes, I have the screenshot. And he, he justified it. He was only following me and Nicki. He said that he did that because he wanted to see me cry over the unfollow. But I wasn't going to cry over the unfollow. So wow. then, yeah, so he he had accidentally exposed his page on YouTube. <laughs> and so it was he was just following me and Nikki. And he wow. said, "Yeah, I follow her. I want to see what the tea is." And you and you didn't cry. I did not cry. For what? For what? And I mean, I'm not going to stop supporting Nikki because she unfollows me. And she I'm, fought and she fought and she followed you back. And that let's go for the record. I, I believe she followed you back. I believe I saw that. Yeah, she followed me back. Yeah. Um, and here all of this again, you are a black woman and you're opinionated, and you had the Cardi B coming after you. And I said to I talked to one of uh, I talked to a, a blogger and I said, Ebony is doing something right. 
because anytime you get a celebrity come out to you, that's a good payday. Because if if because Cardi did something to Tasha, I mean Tasha did something to Cardi, and Cardi sued, and she cried on the stand, and here she mm -hmm. is dragging you on social media, and I said this is Ebony's payday, and I hope it's a lie. I, I, it's I, I, yeah, it's her, because she it's lied. A, she she did. She blatantly lied. I did. But here's the thing: she, Cardi she knows apologize. it's a lie. She didn't apologize she, either. She knows it's a lie. Mm -hmm. We already we've already spoken with her and Lisa. Her lawyer. We, she knows it's a lie. But but she did it again this year. So yeah. at this point, it's like okay, I, I, there's nothing else for us to talk about. Let's just keep doing it the way we're doing it. People don't understand that lawsuits don't just happen. Overnight. They take time. Absolutely. Yeah, because when Cardi sued Tasha, it took years to get, and she's still battling to get her money from Car from Tasha Cat. So that, that's the years of development. Uh, and all of that. I, I, I told, like, I, I used to have, I had a conversation with Armand a while ago, and you can never get a word in because it's always about him, him, him. And he is a little bit paranoid because he thinks everybody is against him. And, and see, that's the thing. I this year, 2023, you I'm at a point now where I don't even want to talk about Cardi B. You get to a point where you're like, dang, if what if I just removed her from my blog? Mm -hmm. Would it be more peaceful? Like, if I just stopped talking about certain people? I'm just wondering, like, would my time on YouTube be more peaceful? I don't I don't think so. Because you, you don't think about, so? You no, know, you could talk about somebody else and they can get upset. You you're doing your job. You are media, but I don't see people dragging what well, she did drag the shade room. This is our job. This is how you feed your family. So why stop doing something that you're making good money? Cardi B is those type of celebrities where she's gonna promote you. So why not? I would say continue to press the gas. You haven't done anything illegal. You haven't did anything like Tasha K did by saying that she had diseases. You were just giving a an opinion and you were critical of her and she couldn't handle the criticism. I didn't see you degrade her children. None of that. I went back to watch because I was trying to see no, I would never what, her what triggered her to put your business out there to the streets. And I was like, she just giving her opinion. There's nothing wrong with that. I think, I think at this point, it's just, I can I be honest. Mm -hmm. I didn't know YouTube was all of this. Mm. I'm, I'm, I just can't believe that YouTube is all of this. Like the whole situation with Armand, I don't have nothing against Armand, nothing against Armand. I want Armand to win and continue doing great things for his channel. I just want him to stop lying. I'm not coming for you. I'm not looking at you. I didn't hire nobody. If you're going to sue me, sue me. Okay. If you say you're going to sue me, file the paperwork. Remember that we're in California. There's an anti-slap law. So you have to be very careful and you have to be very sure that I did something. If you don't know, stop lying. Move on. I, I can I, understand if I was making videos about him, mm -hmm. like dragging him or, or doing something like that and he's coming for me. I deserve that. But don't just make up complete lies. And somebody just sent me this station head that he did. Really? So wow. now I got to add this other station head to all the other stuff he said about me. You don't even, people don't even know half the things. I've had people say they're going to put my kids on, on P sites. Wow. On the dark web. Mm, 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 mm. It's, it's really, it's really sad, but. Again, you have, you know, that comes with the territory. Once you are successful and you reach a pinnacle and you're associated with Nikki, you becomes a target. And that's the thing why I think that triggers Cardi. She'd be like, I know Nikki telling her to do that, blah, blah, blah. And so she's trying to get you together and trying to get back at Nikki. But at the end of the day, I would say you to continue to do your platform. What you're doing is right. And do, you know, do your logo and all of that. But let's talk about the picture because like that was a main controversy. The lady came out, the picture that you used allegedly, the lady came out and said that you made her feel insecure by using her picture. She said, I want to make sure I quote her directly of what she said. Um, she said this, the person on the profile picture is actually me. She added my lips. That's I disgusting. This part of the even, even my skin color. All these changes make me feel insecure about myself right now. And she's using it without 
me and the fo uh, photographer's consent. I don't know what to do, so stop using me. Why did you use her picture, and what's your response to her? Somebody said, what about hot? Um, so that picture was a filter. I didn't edit anybody's picture. It was on Pinterest, I think. And the thing is, is that nobody used a picture to, to be someone else. Half the people that are dragging me have somebody else in their profile. It was just something. I have like a screenshot on my phone where I have different inspirations I get from Pinterest and things like that. I don't know how to reach that person because I don't think their account allows for messages. But people are trying to make it seem like I was out here trying to be someone else, and that's not the case. I didn't edit anything. There was a filter on the picture. So, but like I said on Twitter, I'm sorry if anybody felt like heard about that because nobody should feel that way. That's why I removed it. And, but I, I just don't know how to get in touch with whoever this person is. I even tried on Instagram, but she doesn't allow for messages. But people are trying to make it seem like I was out here trying to be her. I can understand if I was trying to go get a modeling job or date somebody. Half the people in this chat have fake pictures. Because in 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 the in the picture of this of this model of this of this woman, you it's a picture of her, and on your picture you had the face blotted out, like you had a mark over the face, over her eyes. That was on Pinterest. I didn't do that. It was on Pinterest. Okay. I got the picture from Pinterest. Okay. I didn't edit none, nothing. Everything came from Pinterest. And so that that's that's what happened. That's what like coming out and it's and they're dragging you. What made you 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 wrote a statement? Why not at her publicly? Because she came, she added, she responded to you publicly. Why don't you just add her publicly? Because when I tried to add, it said this person does not allow allow tagging. Okay. And I had so many people, like I couldn't even, even if she did leave a comment, I had so many people commenting and then it turned into, it wasn't just about the picture. Then it turned into people DMing me talking about this is for Megan. And I'm like, what the fuck? What the fuck? Even in my comments, oh, how you feel now? Um, using pictures, this is what you get for attacking Megan. It turned into something that is not even about the picture anymore. Mm -hmm. So I get what you say. You're saying that subscribers use other pictures. We get that. Uh, but you know you represent a brand. You represent a show. So if you use another, if Nikki were to use another picture, mm -hmm. automatically it becomes news. When Cardi used Riley, I mean, uh, uh, Remy Ma as, as a picture, it reached news. So you as a brand, you do know if you change a picture and you change it up, you do know some controversy is going to happen with that because you are a public figure with a lot of clout in this business. Yeah, but see, when you put it like that, I understand that. But I wasn't thinking about that at the time. You okay. know what I mean? And that's my fault. Nobody can, there's no excuse for that. But at the same time, like I said, I'm, th this is all a lot. YouTube is all a lot for me. People in the chat say social work is less stressful. No, it's not. It's way more stressful. But at the same time, it is a brand. And for a long time, I've been running my, my blog, and I feel like it hasn't been as professional as it should be, mm -hmm. if you understand what I'm saying. It hasn't... I've been acting like I've been trying to keep it professional, mm -hmm. but it hasn't been as professional as it should be. And part of that was the picture situation. Part of that is the way I deliver my content and my stories. But at the end of the day, like I said, I can't blame nobody but myself. I got to take this L and then work positively so that my brand doesn't come into this type of stuff anymore, if that makes sense. That this never happens again. So the picture that you're using now, that's actually... That's my picture. <laughs> okay. But you know you have to ask these days. Yes, that's my picture. So hearing this, and you're saying about your show as not professional, but to me, I think your show is great. I think that you're, what you're doing is great. If you want to change and, it. And I, I'm hiring somebody. See, you guys, I've been doing this by myself. I'm finally hiring somebody, paying $27 an hour mm -hmm. to help me run this blog. 
because I'm noticing that I can't do this by myself. This blog is hard. On top of that, you know, I want other ideas. Mm-hmm. I know that I'm heavily like a Nikki blog, but I'm at the point now where I do want to open up my opinions and my thoughts and just be a little bit more unbiased as far as reporting Mm -hmm. because it's I've learned that being so biased it not only made me look like a b-word it made me look hella stupid I'm just gonna be honest I was looking hella stupid out here on YouTube Mm -hmm. and I still be looking hella stupid well I don't think you look stupid I I think I do when you you were talking when when you was making your voice like me I'm like oh she needs to switch it up so I think that you lived and breathed Nikki and you were sounding like Nikki I don't think you noticed did you notice that you were sounding like her I did not know I was sounding how you you sounded like Nikki and and you were sounding like laughing like Nikki like her mannerism you had that Nikki that whole aura of her but everybody but see that's the thing it's always been like that if you were my friends Okay. That's that's how we act. Okay. Like when we're listening to Nikki music. I'm not trying to talk like her. I'm sick okay. right now, by the way, but nevertheless, I've had a lot of people say I do, a lot of people say I don't. But I never want to morph into someone else. And so if that if my subscribers feel that way, or if people feel like, oh, like you're sounding a little too much like her, then that's something that I think I should work on. Um, because I'm just, I'm just right now, I think I've been so, um, focused on what I want to do. I haven't taken those suggestions. I haven't listened to people that, you know, really want to support me because mm-hmm. I've been so headstrong. Just, this is what I'm going to do. This is how, it's, and that's, that's not, that's, that's going downhill as you can see. <laughs> so I know you do a lot of content about Nikki. Are you going to branch off and talk about other people other than Nikki? Because Nikki's on the break, so it can be kind of difficult to continue to talk about something that's on a hiatus right now. So are you going to talk about people in 2023 other than Nikki? Um, well, Nikki hasn't been on, so I haven't been talking about anything about Nikki. Also, okay. some of my highest views aren't even with Nikki or Cardi. Okay. I did a Will Smith video that has 130K. So I can talk about other topics. That's not the problem. Right now, the topics are pretty dead because it's the end of the year nobody's really releasing music and so i'm at the point now where i don't want to just make up a story Mm -hmm. i'm not trying to just make up some tea just to to put it out i'm trying to be more strategic in what i put out so if something big comes along that all the big like publications talk about then i'll talk about it Mm -hmm. but i do definitely think that i want to give Nicki minaj a break definitely because she deserves that. And I want to talk about other people. I just don't really want to talk about Cardi or the Stan, the Stan Twitter stuff. I really want to get out of Stan Twitter. Because I got lost in Stan Twitter. You like, I, I'm lost in Stan Twitter. And so now I'm trying to get myself out of that. Mm-hmm. So when I, when I saw that, because you, you made a post... Uh, something about Nikki that you wasn't getting her help to defend you and you were getting backlash and people was like, nobody told you to defend Nikki. Nobody told you, you did that for yourself for money. And I was like, I think that she ha- have an identity crisis. What you going through identity crisis in that? In what that? You like when Nikki Minaj, when you were defending Nikki, you were getting criticism. And I, I felt like the polls that you made, it seemed to me that you wanted Nikki to defend you. And I want to ask you a question. Did you want Nikki to come out there to publicly defend you? Um, I don't even remember when this was. This is months ago, probably, right? Yes, ma'am. She, uh, it was she's months already, ago. She's already defended me once. Okay. And it was literally in the middle of me arguing with that other girl. Mm-hmm. So I don't need to ask. It, it already happened. Mm-hmm. So I'm here. I'm here, and I'm glad you came on because these are the questions I wanted to ask you. Uh, in 2023 is definitely your year. You said you was insecure. Why did you say that? What are you insecure about? I, your looks? Your no? I think it's just. I think it's just. I'm. I'm with YouTube. It's just. It's been. You know. It's. It's it's kind of risen like the insecurity level because of all the stuff like the messages waking up every day and you have you're tagged over 300 times about about yourself people 
I have over 20 fake pro profiles in me. You say you have 20 fake profiles? I'm sorry, we're trying to get her away. It was connection issue. You there? Uh, Amy? Okay, you said you had 20 fake profiles? Okay, let me get her back on. We're trying to get her back on so she can talk uh, while we are live with uh, the creator and owner of Black Tea Blog. And we're trying to get into uh, the insecurity part. So I don't know if she's gonna hit the um, link on that. Make sure y'all share this live, thumbs up this video. Share this live, thumbs up this video, thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up, um, you know, for her coming on. Uh, we will open up the, the stream yard so other people can give their opinions and give their thoughts. But I wanted to talk to her about the insecurity. She's not by herself uh, with that. A lot of people deal with insecurities. A lot of people de de deal with that. Uh, that is what uh, is going on. Uh, with the, Okay, she said her phone died. So now we will uh, open up the stream yard. So again, we're going to open up the stream yard. So if anybody want to come on, you come on and give your thoughts. She said her phone died. We wanted to get, and she's charging it. So while we wait on her, if anybody want to come on the stream yard, uh, you could come on the stream yard because they said her, because her phone have died. Uh, we will also open up the phone lines uh, as well. You could definitely give their thoughts. 972-674-9462. Uh, also, we have the link uh, for that as well. We personally invited Armand Wiggins so he can answer these allegations. He have to, he have not answered our phone calls. He have not answered our texts because maybe we're blocked. But we personally invited Armand Wiggins on our YouTube to respond and talk to Ebony, but he have not responded to any of our requests uh, for us. So again, I don't know if uh, you all had called him or emailed him or DM him, which y'all already have because y'all are messy, because I'm messy. So, uh, you know, but again, uh, that's just how that goes. So again, we, we did reach out to him to get him uh, actually on the show. But give me a second, we're gonna open up the stream yard and we will take people to call in, all right? Hello, how you doing? Can you hear me? Hey, Wally, how are you? This is Sonia. Sonia, hi, welcome. Hi. So you guys see my picture up there? That's actually me, but that's a filter, right? So, and I, I was making a point in the chat that Milagro, when, um, and I don't think you talked about this on yesterday, um, but Milagro even admitted that she has an issue with using filters. When mm -hmm. those Snapchat filters started coming in, I think what it did was um, for people that um, had like different insecurities or whatever, felt that, OK, let me use this filter in order to make myself look better because everybody was doing it. Right. And then it became an obsession of a sort. Um, with um uh black tea using someone else's picture i don't know i'm kind of on the fence about that because some people and i've seen some youtube content creators use different people's pictures as their profile they're not using those pictures to say that hey this is me this is a representation of what i find beautiful so i don't know i, I don't think she kind of answered that but if she was using someone else's picture um, as, as a representation of what she finds to be pretty or beautiful or whatever, then that's different than using someone's picture and saying, hey, that's me. So I don't know. And I really doesn't, I really don't care. And, and, the, and the lady responds. She she said, Don't use my picture. I'm feeling insecure. You editing my picture. And that's how I say I don't think she should have done it. I don't, I don't mind you using Nicki Minaj's picture because you that's her stand. But if mm -hmm. you use somebody else's picture and it's edited, that person is gonna feel some type of way because that sister that she used, uh, she responded and she said, Hey, why why are uh, you using using my picture? Because she said this, this is what Chan said at G C. C H A N C E E D. She said the person on the profile picture is actually me. She edited my lips, eyebrows, even my skin color. All these changes make me feel insecure about myself. Right now, and she makes a good point with that. That's a very good point. And she's using it without me and the photographer consent. I don't know what to do. So stop you. So stop using me. 
That's what the and, lady of the yep. picture. And a lot of people, a lot of people do that. You guys don't don't understand how common that is. It's on, they do it on Facebook, they do it on IG, they do it on all of these public sites in order to get clicks and views or whatever. And I'm not saying that's what Black T did, but this brings out the seriousness of using someone's content, whether it's written, whether it's a photo, or whether it's said without giving proper credit. I'm not sure how many of you guys went to college, but if you went to college and used someone else's content okay. when you're doing a research paper or whatever, and you do not cite that reference, you can lose your scholarship. You could get kicked out you of school. Get out. You can get kicked. You better you get pray. kicked out of school. So for any for all of you content creators or anyone that's thinking about doing stuff like this, just credit the photo. Credit the photo and don't edit it. Don't say or elude to the fact that hey this is me and certainly don't you know i don't know about changing the filter thing of it because that's such a common thing but i think it's fine to use a filter on your own face but it's kind of creepy to use a filter on someone else's face i think that's kind of weird and um she, ebony said she said i'm insecure so i was trying to get more so in that part and get more into those details uh, but again once those once social media came out more people was insecure. I was insecure before social media because I was in real life and mm -hmm. I dealt with the harassment, but it's way worse now. I don't know if I would have been able to make it if I had Instagram and Twitter and YouTube coming up in high school, elementary school. I don't think I would be here today, but I agree, you know, because it was really rough. I had to do with the rough, the bulliness, and in, 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 in that, but dealing with social media is like a whole nother thing. People using pictures, and, and some people. I, no longer here because they got harassed in their pictures and they destroying their pictures. You have to have tough skin. You have to have tough skin and, 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 to and be it, in a public space like this. And I applaud absolutely. you for um, I applaud you for owning who you are. And honestly, I had a boyfriend, uh, rest his soul, but I had a boyfriend that had a cocked eye, and I was with him and experienced people looking at him. They used to call us Beauty and the Beast. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know how hard that was? We were very much into church. We would go to church and children would like stay, turn around and stare at him in church. And when we would go places, people would stare at him. So I know how first how firsthand, how painful that is. But with him, he just owned it. He was like, okay, and so what? You yep, I got a and, you, and you would get used to so You have to own it. You have to get used to it. But it, it's, uh, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's painful. And you have to represent for that demographic because everybody, I think people look at TV and they picture perfect, but I believe in mainstream media and media, period. We need to see people with the cock eyes. We need to see people, see people with the one leg. We need to see people yeah. that are blind. We need to see people that are deaf. We need people that represent that demographic because everybody is not picture perfect. And people with weight always. problems. People started dragging Neek and she's, she's another you know, content creator that I like. They accused her of getting pregnant. Because she, I guess she look. She didn't look like she changed to me. But they said that she was pregnant. Mm -hmm. So you know, you know what I'm saying. So that that's what you have to. And when you in this business and you're a public commentator, you're going to get people to criticize you. You in the criticizing business. Mm -hmm. you know, I had my mother on my show, and she said, she said, Marquise, in this business, you got to learn how to get out of people. You cannot allow people opinions and their to get at you when they criticize because if you do that, you need to get out this business because the business you in, people are going to talk about you. Yeah, this is yep. Yeah, talk about me all you want, and I'm thinking about getting into YouTube too, and I'm gonna yeah. drop down uh, myself, <laughs> but I think I'm gonna get into YouTube as well. Look, you can say whatever you want about me, but did you watch the video and did did you click and did you view? At yeah. the end of the day, that's what it comes down to. I don't care about your opinion. Right. <laughs> about my looks. But I, I, I'm holding you long enough to listen to what I got to say. And that's what matters at the end of the day. Absolutely. And, and, and you have to work on yourself. When the money starts flowing in, you're going to see a change. Oh, baby. You know, you're going to see a change because the money, yeah. you know, because look at Cardi B. She had red yeah. teeth. For her teeth. Yeah. She when got them money, fixed. Yep. When that money came in, she was able to fix it. So some things are fixable and mm -hmm. some things are not. So, exactly. You know, it is what, and I think people are trying their best. They're they're going on the surgery. They're getting multiple surgeries because they're trying to be perfect. Exactly. And they're they getting having all these health problems. I'm like, 
it was one. I'm a witness to that, and I'm gonna say this, and I'm gonna drop down. I promise. Okay. Go I ahead. had always been um, a person that was overweight. Well, okay. honestly, when I was younger, I was just very voluptuous. So I had a grown woman's body at 12. But when you have a family that's from down south and they have like ignorant points of view, instead of recognizing, oh, she's you know she's got breasts and she's got butt, they call you fat. And then they watch everything that you eat and they comment on it and it's allowed. It's behavior that's allowed and that's normal. Well, that caused me to be insecure. I was always beautiful. I, and I still, when I was big, I was beautiful. Now that I'm smaller, I'm beautiful. But I went and I had that weight loss surgery. And you know what? I wish I didn't. Because my whole everything is just all backwards and messed up. Mm. Wow. I'm glad you was able to tell your story. Thank you, sister, for calling. Yeah, thank you. God bless you, Wiley. Keep it up. Keep up the good work. Bye-bye. All right, um, you guys, we have Ebony. Ebony, you back on. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Can you hear me? I can, I can hear you, yes. Okay, yeah. I don't want to be on too long, but um, um, so, yeah. So, I hope I answered your question. We were talking about I, the insecure part. Like, yeah. you have broke up on that part, like insecure. Yeah, I think it has a lot to do with my um previous relationship which i don't want to really get into um being in that type of dv situation mm -hmm. but at the end of the day i was thinking there's still just no excuse you know what i mean mm -hmm. um there's still just no excuse and i think at this point you know i can keep talking about this over and over and over again and it's at the end of the day it's going to be the same thing right um all of us have insecurities. All of us have things that we don't like or that we do like. Mm -hmm. But my picture was from Pinterest. I didn't edit anything. I got it from Pinterest. Everything on Pinterest has an aesthetic. Literally. I didn't cut nothing up. I got it from Pinterest. I just want to be very clear. On top of that, it wasn't to be anybody else. That wasn't my intent. My intent wasn't malicious. So for that's, I think my biggest thing I want to get through is that I'm not trying to be malicious towards anyone. And I do apologize if anybody was hurt by it. And so that's pretty much what I had to say about that. And that's my, my insecurity. People have heard my story. They know what I've been through. I don't want to bore your chat with my, my situation over again, but it's just life. But it's still, but I just want to make sure that people understand. I'm not out here trying to be malicious to anybody at all. I hear you. And I'm glad that you were able to tell your story and represent what you what you went through. Yep. Um, yeah. Understand your story. I can understand that because a lot of women went through what you went through. They mm -hmm. have a lot of, would you ever get into, like, say, for instance, okay, therapy? Because, uh, you know, in 2023, that's all And, the, and the thing is, is that I didn't build my brand off of nobody's picture. Okay. My brand is built off of my voice. Let's yes. get that very clear. Absolutely. My, my brand is built off of my visuals. Absolutely. All you people in the chat and people on on um, Twitter, Instagram, nothing that you say will stop my blog. My blog will continue to run. Yes, I won't be on social media listening to the trolls, but my videos will continue to run. And they'll, I will continue to push out content. Yeah, because again, like for me, <laughs> the people I look at, the audience going to always have their opinion and you can't satisfy everybody and you cannot, you very heavy on Twitter. And so yes. you have to take a break from that because you get, you get it like get your tweets, but you in there following people responding. Boom, yes. Boom, and, and if they know it gets to you, they're going to give it to you a thousand. So for me, I, yes. I look at Twitter, I'm on YouTube. I see the comments. I don't, I don't let that get to me. I just do my commentary move on for you you had a different point of your life because you mm -hmm. I never had a celebrity like Hardy make a response and come out because she can make a response about me and post like if she posts a library video that will open up so many weirdos to come at me because you are on a mil millions of followers like and I can just imagine what you go through and hopefully I can handle that but you have to deal with that massive massive backlash and the way that Cardi came at you she came at you to hurt you. Like she wanted you. To I know, but why do people, so Wiley, I have a question. Mm -hmm. Do you think, cause you're like the second blogger. I feel like people love bringing up that Cardi B situation. Mm -hmm. Yes. 
Cardi B came at me to hurt me. I agree. You're 100% right. But it's almost like, I don't know. It's like, I feel like people want me to, it, I feel like, what do you guys want me to do? Like, I think, because I think her fans will always latch on to you because that leader gave them marching orders to harass you. So that's true. But they only, but see, this is the thing. They harass me because they don't like my opinion. Absolutely. About her. And, and that's and, and yet once Cardi B did what she did, that just gave yeah. more gas to continue to do what they do. So for my best advice for you is to keep pressing the gas and don't get involved in the comments. Like, thank y'all for the comments, but post your Twitter tweets and take a break from that and just do your content. You be on Twitter a lot. I said, I'm gonna and see, here's the thing. People, I, I do, I need, I'm off Twitter till April. Like, I'm not <laughs> getting on, on Twitter at all. But here's the thing. Like, people, people love talking about the fact, well, nobody, you know, we're not going to watch it. I don't care. Mm -hmm. Because I have 50,000 people who tune in every video to see what I'm going to talk about. Absolutely. Yes. You on do. top of that, mm -hmm. we're at a point now. I do want to say this about Armand before I go. Okay. Armand, my my social media is open if you want to talk. But stop lying on me. I didn't hire nobody after you. And Wiley, people are telling me that you said that I, I never, sent you pictures. I never I never I never said nobody's name. Armand okay, said, Armand Wiggins said your name on Stacia. I never said because I never did. They can I don't post the uh, receipt. <laughs> Armand said your name directly. He okay. said your name on stage here. And they're making it seem like I said your I never said your name. When I did the show right. yesterday, never said no, no blog's name. Armand today said your name. Okay. He even today. said my name, in which he never rarely do. But okay. today, he said Wiley, and he said Ebony. He said directly gotcha. he said your name. And I think people are saying that I said it because Armand just blamed it out. I never oh, it. so he just said our names. Okay. Yeah. I'm Armand sorry. Yeah. So I never, I never, I never said your name. Oh, somebody I, in the chat said he never said my name. No. Wiley, are you getting no. me caught up in mess? No. But he's, but that person is saying is, um, I never said your name. Not oh, about okay, you. okay. But yeah, but probably just said your name. It's on his thing. It's on his thing. <laughs> yeah, it's somebody not, said it to me. Right, because I listen. I listen to everything, and I, I, I keep my I keep my ear to the streets. And okay, okay. I hear everything. I'm very. I'm a very messy person. When I'm on the internet, messy person. Like I'm just as quiet. When I'm on this internet, I got it. What's going on? What's going on? Like I saw your tweet. I said, "Oh, that's a direct response to our mind." It seemed that way. Yeah, so it I, wasn't to shade him. About it. So yeah, it wasn't to shade yeah. him. That's the thing. But mm -hmm. he, my social media is open. I haven't hired nobody to come look for you. I'm not sending videos of you or anything about you. Please, if you want to talk like an adult, my social media is open. But just don't. Lie. I think that Armand probably would never have that conversation because if he do, Cardi B would take that as you are the ox, Armand. Because not only that, you're different because you actually have a lawsuit litigation with Cardi. If y'all were to have a conversation publicly, that would be a bridge that he will burn with Cardi B. Mm, okay. And I don't think that Armand will have that conversation. He's smart. He's an intelligent once he's sober. Uh, he know he can pick up the phone and send your DM, but he know if he have a public kumbaya with you, and and if you didn't resolve that with Cardi, Cardi would take that as ultimate because you know what's gonna happen. Cardi what? B fans, including myself, is gonna lead the charge. Cardi, see what's going on. Don't trust me, Docs. I'm gonna be on the front lines with that, as well as her audience is gonna take that as disrespect. So I don't. Yeah, know, but and, and we gotta be mind, honest. Our mind will take that risk. Because his uh, Cardi B audience gonna be watching, and I'm gonna I'm gonna take that as oh th that's a war right there. That's a slap in Cardi B face. Oh wait, it, the, it's a. It, what do you mean it's a slap in her because, face? Because, like, because you, you have litigation with her, you want to sue her. So if if a person that I'm teaming up with bring it to my party, he interview this person, y'all kumbaya. I'm gonna feel some type of way about our mind Wiggins. Because oh, her I fans, see fans is gonna be don't trust them. They're gonna gaslight. I, and Cardi B love her fans, and they know how to gaslight Cardi. That's why Cardi came at the way that she came at you because they post your clips, they send it to it over and over, and she watch it 
and she responded because her fans kept coming at her with that with 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 that with with you. Uh, oh, that's they, a good point. And they gas your Cardi B know how to get gas, like, and it's good. It's a good strategy with Cardi. Get Cardi to respond. Keep coming at Cardi and use the fans to boost it up. And then she watched your video, and then she go at it because she got to show her fans that I'm not no punk. I'm not. I'm from. I'm from. The, I'm from the ghetto. I'm, you know. I and that's what she did. That which is sad. She shouldn't allow that because she's a celebrity and she. Can get well, started. yeah. I just don't want to make this about Cardi B because, because it's, it's it really Cardi has nothing B, to do with Cardi because B. Because Cardi B is in it. Like they always gonna bring that entity. You you're connected with the Cardi situation and the Nicki situation. So they always gonna when you in them stand wars and Armand do with the same thing because he in uh -huh. the stand wars they are gonna uh -huh. bring Cardi B up. They're not gonna stop. <laughs> they, they, I'm mm. just smart enough just to tell you what it is, and mm. that's how it is. As long I see as what you're saying. That that makes, but but just that, please don't you know, insinuate. I'm, you know, I don't know because you said somebody sending you videos of him and stuff. I have videos of him. Yes, and I, I, I don't know nothing. Listening. Please be very clear. I know nothing about that, Armand. I'm not in LA. I don't know. I don't know. And he said that you in LA. He said she no. No, she he said no. She in California. I'm like I didn't know you was in California. I'm like wow. But he yes. I I I I live in San Diego. I don't live in LA. I'm never in LA unless it's something important. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I want to so. say again, everybody didn't send me no pictures, no videos. I want to go on the record and saying that I think that Armand have this issue with you because he have to show Cardi B. His loyalty, and that's what that come from. If he wasn't cool with Cardi, it is that he can he can team up. What that that even with that Malago Grams, Cardi gonna feel some type of way. She's gonna be pulling back because she see the. Type and just to a side note, uh, Wiley, because I see a lot of people, you know, Wiley, uh, you know, a lot of people talking about me and Malago. Malago is such a great woman. I don't care what nobody says about her. She's been nothing but sweet, had my back, and I love her so much. So I see people putting our pictures together and like just saying all these mean things. Milagro is really a good person. I just want to say that too. And Wiley, I'm saying that because I know you and her, you know, whatever. But Milagro has really had my back. I I, I, I do want to. I don't that. have issues with her. We just do advice. Once yeah. you become a polarizing figure and you defend a loser, because Tori she defended, he lost. Yeah, it's on a few charges. You're going to be content. You could be just right. nice, but once you defend a loser and you get involved, All in right. people, you become a target. It's like politics. Once you end this game and you start with an opinion, you open that door for people to criticize you. And they ain't going to never stop. As long as you're talking, people going to But talk. Wiley, I criticize other people, so I'm learning I got to deal with it. And that's, gonna be it. It. That, that's, that's the business. I it's criticize that. other people. I talk about the way people are. It's, so it's, I'm it's, learning it's, that I need to stop playing victim. I need to stop playing victim. I'm I'm, I'm trying. It's hard, y'all. Stop hard playing victim it. and it's, take the criticism because I give criticism out and just grow from it. And that's it. Okay. And, and you're not gonna get over overnight. Number one, you are a woman. No, I'm not. Women I, are emotional. But, you are human. But and, I do I do play victim a lot. I've noticed that. So yeah, I need to. But that's the app. I need to correct that. that. Just like when Malagro, when she dressed and she changed her whole outfit because of the backlash. So again, this is this is we are public figures, whether we want to admit it or not. Once you put yourself out there, you mm -hmm. become become that. And one thing I can say about uh, the other lady that does blogging and I'm impressive, she just don't get involved in the Twitter world. That lady just come do her videos. We don't we don't know who she. They do. I need to be yeah. Impressive she, is really. She just do her content. Yeah. She don't who she don't care. Who, I never seen her clap back at a YouTube. Like mm -hmm. even though she get response from Cardi, but what she, she don't do, respond. She go on her YouTube and continue to do her content. Like she she does that, and they come at they be trying to provoke her, but I never seen her come from that place. To come and respond to a YouTube, I've never seen Lovely T have responded to people. Tasha K responded, but when he came to Impresso for me doing it, I've never seen that lady get into a beef with a YouTuber. She just do her job, make her money, and leave. I I can definitely see that she do her job. Woo woo, got her content and da 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 da.
Talking faces, go ahead. Hi. I just want to say to Ebony, girl, you are in the blogging business, girl. Your skin has to be thicker than this. Come on now. And as for her being interactive on Twitter, that's one thing that she needs to do. She needs to hire someone to do that because clearly she lets it bother her. And now that these people know that it bothers her when they say things, they're going to continue to do it. So she needs to hire someone to do that. She should have never used another person's picture. I know a lot of people do it, but the reason I'm saying she should have never used it is because she has a blog. Okay. And so if you use someone's picture, you know, people know the blog and they can see this person out and think she's that person. So that's why you never want to use someone's picture like that. Use like a cartoon avatar or something like that. I don't think she was being malicious in any form or any way with it. I think she honestly did not think about it or whatever. But she's got to stop wearing her heart on her sleeve and become... um um stronger at you know dealing with these people saying things about you these people don't know you they're gonna say anything you don't care about that they don't know who you are as for cardi b she has been suing bloggers this lady is so problematic she gets away with everything if she lied on you and made people believe that you are a criminal you should sue her D do treat her like she would treat you if you had done that to her um, so I'm glad you're taking legal action against her. And if Armand keeps on, you need to take legal action against him if he's lying on you. Because you just, you don't have to put up with that. I mean, that's something separate than what your job is. You can't be out here law, um, lying and defaming people. You you just can't be doing that. But I need her to get a little bit tougher. And stop saying you playing the victim. If someone does something wrong to you, like put a lie on them that you a criminal or something and say you a P, that's not playing the victim. Girl, I would be highly pissed at someone doing that to me. And I would sue them. So don't apologize and say, oh, playing the victim. You're not playing the victim. If these people did these malicious things to you, and that's malicious, you have a right to feel the way you feel it and sue them. These other people that you don't know that's making little comments, that's nothing. These people do not know you, girl. You're making money out here to take care of your family. You keep taking your family. And as for you saying you want to stop um, record, um, reporting on Cardi B, do not stop doing that. That's what she wants you bloggers to do. She wants to intimidate you guys into not reporting on her. Don't let her win. That really upset me that she said, I don't even want to um, talk about her anymore. Don't do that because that's what she's trying to do. She's trying to intimidate all of you. Okay, mm -hmm. Wiley, I know I got upset, but that really bothered me, um, Wiley, because that's what Cardi's doing. She's what she's doing is she's trying to intimidate everybody. Now she's doing the she did the same thing to Ebony, what she said Tasha K did to her. This is no different. She said Tasha put out lies on her. She put out lies on Ebony. So Ebony needs to sue her. Ebony, you get you $4 million. I'm sick of Cardi B. She's always out here doing shit. And then Wiley, she plays victim. She's the one that plays victim. This woman comes on wishing people um die, wishing their parents die. And the minute you say anything about anybody in her family, she uh she all hurt and trying to take people's channels down. And she's done that to several people. She's done that to several people. And that has to stop. So someone has to take the bully on and knock the bully down. Because this is not right. She can't stand for you to say anything about her, but she'll put lies out about you. No, we can't be doing that. We can't be allowing her to do this. Besides the fact she don't like black women. So that's another reason why she's attacking you, Ebony. So you get your coin from her and shut her mouth. So you can set a precedence for the other bloggers out here. So if she tries to do that to them, because you're not the only blogger that she has tried to do that to. 
anyway, that's it, Wally. I was really up in arms about that, though. Thank you so very much for okay. uh, for calling in. Thank you. Bye bye. All right, thank you. Make sure you all like the video. Uh, we do have the link where y'all can drop and give y'all commentary. We do want to say thank you to Ebony for coming on the show. You guys, thank y'all so very much. Also, I was um, up, and uh, some people said they did not get the chance to hear this interview with Black Tea Blog. So I said I was going to uh, restring this um, interview so you all would be able to see this interview. Thank you all so very much uh, for coming through. Uh, make sure you all like this video. We'll resume. We'll be back live later on today. Thank y'all so very much for the love and for the support, uh, for coming on the show. Uh, thank everybody for hitting the link and thank you uh, so very much. Also, I want to give a special shout out uh, to the moderators and also to the members. Shout out to y'all. Thank y'all. And I believe that was it. Thank y'all. I think that was it. If you want to be notified when I go live, text Wiley to 888-534-4939. Text Wiley to 888-534-4939. And I will see y'all in the next video. Make sure y'all leave a comment and thumbs up, you guys. Peace.